everyone, it's Katie. Welcome back to my channel. Today I've got a makeup tutorial for you on this sultry, smoky, sexy gold halo eye look. And this is really my go-to look when I want to use gold. I feel like you can't go wrong with gold. It is a staple in my collection and it flatters so many people. So I really hope that you enjoy this video. Be sure to subscribe to my channel before you leave and check out my social media links below. And let's go ahead and get started. Alrighty, so your girl just straightened her hair, so no slick ponytail today. We're just shoving the hair back before moving on to primer. So the foundation that I'm going in with is quite matte, so I just want to really hydrate the skin. So I'm taking the Smashbox Photo Finish Hydrating Primer just to make sure the skin doesn't look dry at all. For foundation, I'm going in with one of my favorites, which is the Urban Decay All Nighter in shade 0.5 and mixing in a little bit of the Cover FX Custom Cover Drops in G80 just to make sure it matches my fake tan. And what I love about this foundation is it's so full coverage, yet it doesn't make me look flat or one dimensional, if that makes sense. It's like the perfect amount of full coverage. And I do love the matte finish, although if you do have really dry skin, I'd probably stay away from this foundation as it is very matte. And also just be cautious because it does slightly oxidize throughout the day, so it does get a little bit darker while it sits on the skin so maybe pick up a shade that is a little bit lighter for your natural skin. I'm then taking the NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer in Chantilly to hide any dark circles and to brighten down the center of my face. With the Laura Mercier Loose Setting Powder in Translucent I'm going to set those liquids down to make sure that they don't move throughout the day. Now taking a classic, which is of course the Hula Bronzer by Benefit, I'm going to sculpt and define my cheekbones before going in with the Too Faced Milk Chocolate Soleil Light to Medium Matte Bronzer to warm up my complexion. And now it's time for brows, woohoo, thank gosh. <laughs> Using my favorite brow pencil, which is the Tarte Amazonian Clay Waterproof Brow Pencil in Medium Brown, I'm gonna begin by brushing out my brows before using the pencil to sculpt and define them. To make my brows super sharp and crisp, I'm going in with the Chi Chi Brow Pomme in Dark Brown. I'm taking the L'Oreal Brow Artist Plumper in Medium Dark to make my brow hairs super bushy and fluffy. And then we gotta lock those bad boys into place. Like, I'm talking, I don't know, if we wanna jump off a plane, go bungee jumping, like, not a single hair's out of place. So for that, I'm using the Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. Today, I'm using the Morphe 350M palette, which is a must-have staple, and I'm going in with this warm orangey shade and running that through my crease to act as my transition shade. And oh my gosh, I recently picked up the Gilded Brush Set by Morphe. These are the softest brushes I have ever felt. I'm literally obsessed. I'm taking the shade just below the transition shade and using it to start to create some depth into the look. Guys, I haven't finished talking about the brushes because they are so soft, they need another mention. As you can see, they are working like a dream. They blend beautifully. Would highly recommend them. I'm taking this warm brown to start to create the foundations for my halo eye look before going in with this chocolatey brown shade to really like, boom, create this halo eye. <laughs> And I'm just building up this shade in my inner and outer corner and then blending it out so that there are no harsh lines. And I'm just repeating this step until I have my desired depth. I'm applying the Too Faced Glitter Glue to the center of my lid to help the pigmentation of my shimmer shade. And then using my finger to diffuse the line between the glitter glue and the shadow. And this will just help with blending later on. Going in with the Morphe 350S palette, which is very similar to the OM palette, except this one is obviously all in shimmer. And I'm taking this gorgeous gold shade and applying that to the center of my lid where I applied that glitter glue. I'm then going in and making sure that I blend out any harsh lines. Now time for glitter, woohoo! So I'm taking the Stila Magnificent Metals Glitter and Glow Liquid Eyeshadow in Gold Goddess. And this is literally liquid glitter. You need this in your life. And I'm applying that with my finger so that I have more control of the application. For my lower lash line, it's a similar process to my lid really. And I'm using the Chocolatey Brown shade to really create a smoky effect to the look. To line my waterline, I'm taking the Marc Jacobs Highliner Gel Eye Crayon in Black Cure. I don't know, it's got a fancy name, but it's just black. <laughs> of course, going in with the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara and applying that to my lashes before taking the L'Oreal Telescopic Extra Black Mascara and applying that just to the tip of my lashes to make them super duper long. <laughs> 
For highlighter, I'm taking the Jeffree Star Cosmetics Skin Frost in Siberian Gold and applying that to the tops of my cheekbones, my inner corner and brow bone. For blush, I'm going in with my go-to blush which is by Too Faced and it's the Love Flush blush in I Will Always Love You and I just love this shade. I don't really wear like a heavy amount of blush and this shade is just perfect. It's really subtle but still gives you that gorgeous flush of colour. To finish off the face, I'm using the Kat Von D Locket Setting Mist to make sure nothing's going to move throughout the day. For lips, I couldn't decide whether I wanted to go for a nude or like a warm brown or like a cool nudie brown, but I ended up by taking the Huda Beauty Liquid Matte Liquid Lipstick in Trendsetter and I'm very happy with my choice and I love the formula of the Huda Beauty Liquid Lipsticks and the smell of them, like, I'm just going to say it every time I use them. They smell amazing, like cupcakes, vanilla, sorry, I'm going on, but they smell amazing. <laughs> And that brings us to the end of the look. Thank you so much for watching. I really, really hope that you enjoyed and learned something. And hopefully I'll see you in my next video. Bye.